the creatures. You you The devil wants to take the innocence. Well, he's being philosophical. Yeah. Birdies. Ouch. Jennifer Connelly, right? That's not good. Jennifer Connelly. You're not thinking yet. Labyrinth. Really? Yes. I thought she was in this too. No. No, she's not. It's yeah. like this Mia girl sorry. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I could have sworn she was in this one too, but yeah. You're oh, right. that's so beautiful. I can't breathe. <laughs> it's like Skyrim. Skyrim's situation, yeah. Yeah, except with weird, weirder creatures. Definitely weirder. Most weird creatures ever. Yeah, totally. Oh, super. look what's on her head. That is so beautiful. No problem. She's gorgeous. Very pretty girl. Look at her hair. Yeah. I always wanted hair like that. Kinky. Yeah. I like your hair. Long curly. I, I love it. I like beautiful. <sighs> oh no. Blooming fairies. Oh. Blooming fairies. Fairies. There's some fairies. Mm -hmm. Quarry. She wants to get some some bread. Jangling. She's like, oh, that's good. Hmm. She's binging, dude. Holy shit. What the hell? She's oh, hungry. What the hell do you want? Hmm. She needs some food. Where the hell is Tuna now? I don't know. You know? I could really use the presence of a Tuna now. Well, you could try to call <laughs> Gavin. I don't know uh, if he's going to come or not. I... Oh, it's the devil. <coughs> oh, when, that's when creepy blowing, as shit, that's, shit that's bro. Is that pan? Yeah, man. I can't believe it. Oh, thank you. Oh. No. No I love I love you. I love you. Oh, damn. Stop running around in the woods like a whore. Holy shit. <laughs> you got to be a lady. That's rude. Be the lady, you whore. <laughs> Aww. Oh god, she's looking at her like I want that shit. Man. What the hell? She wanted to nibble her or something. I don't eat her? Know. Like cook her. She wanted to cook and eat her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh! Tom Cruise us. What are these weird creatures? They're just hanging out. Jack! She wants some action from Jack, man. You know what I mean? She wants some Tom Cruise love, huh? Tom Cruise us love. <laughs> I'm in the woods! I'm looking for your penis! That literally, yeah, that's it. See? You know. See? You really do know. 
That's I it. do. You I was it. a young girl once. Ah, uh, once? Ow, oh, my back hurts. I Jesus know how Christ. it is when the hormones go, a, 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 you know, a tingling and stuff. It hurts. Of course, I've been doing nothing but crying today in a hormonal rage. A I hormonal think my period rage. is finally going to happen. A hormonal rage? Oh, maybe I'm pregnant like Trisha Paytas. Yeah, okay. Nah. It's lovely. Bertie's in the background. Lovely. Please, if you say something to me, please. Say something. Oh, shit. Boy, Jacko. He's like Tarzan or something. Yeah, Jack? Tom Cruise. That's yeah, that's Jack. So is this before he became a Scientologist? I think so. Oh, wow. He's got that long hair, too. Yeah, of course. So he looks extra beautiful. Extra beautiful, folks. Well, that is Tom Cruise. He looks good with long hair. Of course, yeah, he does. It suits his face. He it does. does. He just doesn't do the look very often at all, ever. Nah, he wants to look like some military dude. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're making out. Yeah. Like that, the long hair, making out with Tom Cruise with long hair. Right? Oh, do that thing with your tongue that you do. Do. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. Tom Cruise's kisses. They were doing more than kissing, honey. What, whatever. You know, that time of the day passing, that was just like an analogy that they, you know, birds and the bees. The birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. She said, when are you going to start acting like a lady? And here she is screwing some, some bum in the woods. Oi. She's like Chantel. Ew, that, come on. Okay, I'll stop. That's really not nice to do. That's either. shade, man. He's hugging a freaking fox. That was fox. shade, man. Why'd you shade her? I don't know. You're gonna pay for that. I I know. Please. They're gonna make a video, cut they that, will. and be like, "Shady shaded Chantel." They're gonna do that. And I'll be like, "I just made a fucking joke." I'm sure she'll take it. I think she would, cause she's a good sport. Wow, Tom Cruise's teeth used to be fucked up. Ow! <laughs> Look. No, I can't. They tell. used to be really fucked up. His teeth. Um, I can't see nothing. Wow, the power of money. Yeah, sure. I'm fucking Look blind. at the glitter on her. It's so pretty. It's got glitter. Yeah, yeah, his teeth weren't perfect. Yeah, now they're just perfect. Are they? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It looks the same to me, but I, I'm not observing like that. I'm not an observant individual in that sense for a male individual. I've always loved the glitter on her skin. It's so pretty. This is a cool movie. Oh, that's so beautiful, the, like, imagery and yeah. cinematography. Yes, it's very pretty. Morning glories. The, 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 the vegetation is very beautiful. Ow. It almost reminds you of being a kid in the woods, you know? Yeah. I love that. Baby. Yeah. I want to one day be able to go in the woods with you. Yeah, the woods, I, it was always fun to me to be in the woods. I love hiking. Yeah, I think I I never went hiking, but I've hiked all over the place. I love being I, in the woods. I enjoy hiking too. Or, or just look at that. Whatever. Walking through the fucking woods, man, is it's great. It's so beautiful. Yeah. <gasps> a horse. Or is that a unicorn? Yeah, it's a unicorn. <gasps> it is a unicorn. Yes, it is, and it's a huge sign of change. You know, that's a baby. It's two unicorns. Mm -hmm. It's two babies, and they're, the, the evil people have an order out to kill them. To get I them. wonder if those horns on the horse's head bothered them. Yeah. Probably. Ugly one-horned mules. Ugly one mules. They're gorgeous. Look at the babies. Look at their ugly one-horned mules. I don't think so. Those unicorns. They're gorgeous. Uh -huh. Wow. 
That's beautiful, Tom. It is beautiful. Wow. Oh. They're beautiful. I'm getting cramped. That sucks. Ah. Oh. I hate not feeling good. Oh, yeah, it's not. It's not. oh God, oh. man! You mustn't, Lily. You mustn't. It's a pretty dress. Yeah, I like that actually a lot. Pretty piece. Uh, How old do you think she is? Like sixteen, seventeen? I have no idea. She's young. I wouldn't put a number on it because I have no reference. Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Is that a Gavin? I don't know. No, that's, no, a, that's a watermelon. That's a watermelon. Where the hell is Gavin? Where's Tuna next? G Man came over today, so we're yeah, not gonna see him that. for a while. This sucks. Oh. Purple. What are they gonna do? Oh. You're my baby ghost. No, you leave the unicorn alone. She's about to pet it. Yeah. Feathers in the air. The pretty baby. Is that a no. Uh, You're fine, bud. Uh -huh. Sweetest pie. Sweetest pie shot. That's beautiful. Yeah, very pretty. I love you. I love you. Oh. That's just rude. Yeah. Like, why would they do that to the poor baby? Because they're magical. They want their magic, you know, just so they got to kill them. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I would go. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm going to check myself. Two or plus individuals. Am I right? I would go. Possibly. Ha! I don't. Yeah. You see one in the house. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay. Break the laws again. Have some fun with that. <laughs> uh, criminal charges. There we go. Jackrabbit. Cold. Oh, that's pretty yeah, unicorns. Scream, woman, scream! 
I need to check my cell phone. I'll be right back. Okay. I really do think I may have uh, what? achieved a period. A period, finally. Okay. Oh. God, this is going to get hurt getting up. All right. Take your time. You're my baby girl. And I love you. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Poppy. You're beautiful. Where is Tuna next? I want Tuna next. Tuna neck McAdam. We need him. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I got a very killer. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh. individuals. <laughs> Frozen shit everywhere, man. Frozen shit. Me! Me! Eat hell? her brains like jam? Jesus. Pig faced individual. <laughs> the lines in this. That's pretty brutal, man. I think they purposely were trying to make a weird, like, Jim Henson, like, yeah, movie. That's, that's correct, yeah. They saw Labyrinth and they're like, holy shit. Yeah, we want to do something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like Labyrinth and You know what Legend else reminds me of this movie? What? Dark Crystal. Right? Yeah, Dark Crystal definitely. Anything Henson really, yeah. Yeah. But it's not a Henson movie. No. It is not. It's a Ridley, Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott directed movie. He wanted to make a Muppet <laughs> A Muppet movie? He wanted to make a fantasy movie. With, yeah. With the devil in it. Everyone was doing it at that time. Ron devil Howard. Devil movies? No. <laughs> like, fantasy movies. Ron Howard decided to do Willow. And yeah. Like, fantasy, yeah. Like, every all the directors was <laughs> like, let's, let's tr all make, like, a fantasy movie and see how it goes. Yeah, it went well. Who does the best one? <laughs> I think they're all good. That's the thing. Most I of, know. They're like, this type of movie, they're all good. Look at the little fairy right there. Fairies. It's so cute. God, how is he living? Well, in it's that snow. pretty cold, but I guess he's got a resilient uh, situation. 
truth. This male is very strange to me and almost seems uh, like a true demonic creature. He is. The way he speaks is very weird. He creeps the fuck you out too? of me. Yeah. Good, I'm glad it's not just me then. No, it's a cre he's a creepy little fucker. What's his name? Pan. Like Pan Pan now. Oh. My back, I'm sorry. It's real you bad. okay? My back is really fucking hurting. Oh, baby. Sorry. I'm sorry, honey bows. Crazy. What? Crazy. This character. So everything's crazy in this world. And it's strange, spirits. You did what? Oh, my God. He's pissed now. He's pissed now. Yeah. Gone. Damn. I did it for Lily. I'm can't. sorry. Why, I why can't a human I was thinking with my dick. He's my one of my favorites, that will do. Okay. That guy he's fucking hilarious. Gum. Yeah, we all want the little pebble of wine. That kid is name is Gump. That must be like really like high percentage alcohol. Damn. What's the bubbles? Why is there bubbles? Oh. Bubbles in the snow? Where the hell are the fairies? Where, why is there bubbles? I don't know why there's bubbles, but there's bubbles. Because it's all mystical and fairy-like. And bubbles are nice. I, I, I know. Bubbles are very nice. Oh, Labyrinth came out after this film. It did. No, no shit. That's right. Why are you guys so on people's cases when they're watching a movie? Just enjoy the fucking movie. Yeah, I'm having fun with the movie, man. Yeah, man. Let's chill out, man. Watch Legend. Chill out. I ain't ignoring y'all. I just have things I'm doing in life. Do you mind You're cute. that I'm doing things? Anyway, guys, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. How's you groovy ass motherfuckers? Me, I'm sick off my ass. I have a sprained fucking ankle with arthritis I'm not feeling good and I'm fucking bored yeah we can't stream the film thank you yeah man thank, thank you. you elemental yeah I'm just chilling out bros I'm just chilling out and I saw the G-Man. You saw a G-Situation? We had a G-Situation today, and then he had to leave because he has a date. Ooh. So I hope he has a he doesn't care that fine he, ass date. He doesn't care that you say that? No. Nah. Okay. Because you know why? 
G-Man has a date and a lot of people don't and yeah. he probably wants to shove that in people's face. Mm. So I figure that's Maybe. why he told me. Maybe. So I'm just relaying the message that G-Man has a date and and you tr haters of G-Man don't. So ha 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 ha. There. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome, bro. We'll be doing the show again. Um, We'll be doing the show again soon, Mindbender, okay? Just keep your eyes on your email, okay? Okay, pal? Okay, partner? Oh, my God, I know how I fucked up my ankle. All right, brother. One minute. <clears throat> okay. There were floppy boy situation in your legs. Just, just. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't know, G Man, and I'm married. Well, then I wasn't applying said sentence upon you. <laughs> uh, your hubby bought you a dozen of black roses. How gothic. No hate from me. Soon. What? Mind bender. Oh. I think he I, he understands now though. We'll be doing it soon. Ow. So apparently the Super Bowl was last night. Ouch. I didn't see it. I haven't seen the last few Super Bowls because I just don't care Who anymore. Gives a shit. Right. Who the hell cares? And I saw this like article. Eminem kneeled down after singing without me, and I'm like, uh, who cares? Who gives a shit, man? <laughs> Was it like something epic he did by kneeling down or something? Is that supposed to be some kind of epic display of emotion or something? What, oh my god, he kneeled down. Who? Whatever. Who kneeled down to what? Eminem at the halftime show. It was like Dr. Dre, Snoop, Eminem. First rap. It was the Something first like rap, rap halftime? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, whatever. I didn't give a fuck. So, I didn't watch it. I just heard about it. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything else except this to mind bend up. Uh, people really seem to love it. So, we're going to move on. BLM support? I think it's a given that Eminem would support BLM. No kneeling down necessary for Eminem. I think it's obvious with him. Uh, Lawful citizen. But, I mean... <laughs> wow. He's all sparkly uh, and glittery. Oh, shit. Crazy fucking, like, demon fairy. That thing. That situation. I am a fairy. Ah, hello. He's like freaked out by that thing. What the hell? Her eyes are crazy. Yeah, she kind of looks like Stevie Nicks on a freaking uh, cocaine cocaine binge. binge. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no offense. What's up, Devo? No offense to Stevie at all. I mean, no offense to Stevie. No, we love Stevie. I love me some Stevie Nicks. You Don't really, get me wrong. You really, really do. Yeah, actually. Hi, Devo. Devo. Devacha. That's her real name. Devacha. Devachka. 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 Sorry. Devachka. Well, that, that, that's amazing that that's the name. The halftime show was pretty good. Just nostalgia. It's always nostalgia. Every halftime show is like some shitty fucking variety show that was in the 70s. Uh -huh. I'm sorry I'm being cynical, but, you know, that's, I am very hormonal. That's pretty funny, though. Yeah. Like, Miley Cyrus? Uh -huh. What the fuck, Miley's? When did you enter the 1970s variety shows, okay? <laughs> 
Hey, Shani. What the fuck, Miley Cyrus? Hey, Shani. What? Do you realize the word devotchka? Do you know what that word is? No. It is the word for for a attractive young woman or slutty attractive young woman in, in a clockwork orange speak. The clockwork orange language. Did you know that? Is, is that the truth, devotchka? Yeah. Are, are you a slutty little girl? No, I think I'm adding the slut oh. part of it. It's like an attractive oh. young girl. Yes, Rev knows. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Clockwork Orange is actual language. Made up language. Yeah, I know. I haven't read the book. I should read the book. Oh, it's incredible, actually. Probably better than the movie. Yeah, it doesn't mean slutty. It's just a woman, really. My significant other tried to explain the game, and I was like, so grown men fight in for a concussion. Laugh out loud. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, I haven't seen Gypsy Rose. Clockwork Orange is my fave. Yeah, I want to apologize for the possibly offensive chauvinism that was shown. Um... I'll just say really quick that it just means female, a woman. Now, see, I said female. That's even offensive. I'm sorry. Okay? I'm really, I apologize for that. Um, it means a woman, okay? But I attach it to a, a, a young, attractive woman because whenever Alex says it, it's, it's, it's in the contents, context of fucking a woman. So. Okay. Like a tender young devotchka. The 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 old in out in and out, mm -hmm. huh? A tender young devotchka. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. You have a Colorado tattoo? That's the shit. Yeah, that kicks ass. I would get one of them. Get one of them right on my ass, you know? <laughs> Shady. <laughs> a Colorado tattoo right on my ass. That's hilarious. That'd be fun. You know what I want on my ass. Yeah, that'd be amazing, actually. I'm gonna have, like, fruit and flowers all over my, my ass. The Garden of Eden. Oh my god, okay? that's hot as shit. And then I'm gonna have a tattoo stamp that's gonna be called the Garden of Eden. It's gonna have Garden of Eden written on it. And then you just see my ass, and it's just full of fruit and flowers. It's gonna be like, yeah. That's hot as shit. That's, like, really, really fucking yeah. Really hot, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like you're going to want to eat that shit. <laughs> I will be licking it. I'll be licking that fruit on your back. <laughs> I'd be licking the fruit on your back, yep. There's going to be a, lot, a whole lot of that going on. Mmm. The schnozberries taste like schnozberries. The, oh, the not oranges the, taste no. like oranges. Shanny. The bananas taste hey. like bananas. Hey! What? She does not have a tattoo of Colorado. She has a tattoo of a clockwork orange. Oh, you're a droog. We actually set up a uh, a uh, uh, a cameo with the man himself. Yeah, we did. And he called me, Shani, a droogie. Uh. -huh. Yes, That's yes. one of the highlights of my life. Of course it is. Anyway. How could you not feel that way? Worth the money. Books are usually better than the movies. Oh, so worth the money. Oh, it was. All of them are. That's hot. Isn't that silly, Shanny, Mac? don't you realize they're all, they, they were all worth it? Because it's clout, too. Like, people have said your name. You are very true behind every pillar that books are always better than the movie. Yeah. You're very true. I I need I need a book series. Ooh, maybe we could put that on Amazon. What? Sort of truth series. Oh yeah. Okay. There is a series I really, really want to finish and I'll talk to you guys about it. It's Why a I sort of truth like... series. I I really want to finish that series. I only got uh into two books and then Chris dumped me and took my fucking books. Jesus. Box set. That's it. 
that wouldn't He be. took everything I loved, that bastard. Everything! And then he's paraded as some fucking hero. Dude. Terry Goodpen, Sword of Truth, complete 17 volume set. That's it. That, oh. That's what I would buy you. Oh. If I had money. Okay. Yeah, put that on the Only wish list. Only six left. Yeah, add it to list. <laughs> put that to wish list. Yeah, it, bless Shanty with something cool. It's added. Bless the bless Shanty with the Terry Goodkind bit. She would love to read. I love Terry Goodkin. He's so interested. He's really good. Uh, I know. Like my my cousin likes good writing, so I know he's good. Like I love I love the Law of Nines. That was the first Terry Goodkin I actually read. Was the Law of Nines, and I could not put the book down. So I, like, got with my ex-husband, and he noticed that I, I was reading it. And he's like, oh, you reading Terry Goodkin? Have you ever read his other series, The Sword of Truth? I'm like, no. And he's like, you should read it. So I started reading it, and then he dumped me. Asshole. Okay. Ouch. Broke my heart. Thousands of fucking pieces. Yeah, can we say it's just an asshole? Move on. Yeah, he's an asshole, anyway. 500 pound poopa, Jesus God. That's so cool, Elemental. <sighs> I don't know when he wants to do another wrestling stream. That's on him. We are. I don't want that to be about this. We are doing it soon. I just want to kind of be settled before we go on a regular every week show. We got things we're doing in life, yeah, okay? Yeah, it's life shit, okay? Nothing crazy, it's just life stuff. So the show will come back when it can, okay? Yeah, so I'm only doing this show because I'm bored, not because, you know, I have nothing better to do. Oh. I could go and be just happy watching this movie with the husband. Sure. But I know it's Valentine's Day, I know there's people alone on Valentine's Day, and I know that people would Ew. miss me on Valentine's Day, so I figured to be your Valentine and, like, kind of, like... Be like low key, what's yeah. up? Let's hang and chill. Hang and chill, bro. Yeah. Ridley Scott's son, really? Wow. That's awesome. Rev by chocolates and roses. Ah. Oh, how the hell am he I? He took his head. How the hell am I gonna buy chocolates and flowers when I can't put two got red cents together? Do you want to donate some money to me? so that you, I could get her that stuff because I'd like to. I would definitely spend the money you give to me. Dude, he got me something for Valentine's Day. Don't let what him you shit you. About okay, that? he got me... Oh. I, I've been asking for these EBT for quite a while. Gift. He got me these duplex sandwich cookies and, okay, some chocolate chip muffins and not only that, but I, I know it's on fucking sale and shit, but still. Oh, still. my God. I got my freaking chocolate. Ba, 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 dun, dun, so, I mean, I don't, like, cake. seriously. <laughs> he thought of me today. Don't, like, shit up. He did what he had and what he could. And then G-Man came over and got us, gave us a Delta. bunch of Delta 8. Yeah. And gave the boys a bunch of freaking cookies. And candy. And then Zachary ate way too much and wanted to puke. Jesus. Um, no, no, he was sick, honey. He was sick. You're kid. welcome, Jewel Gershon. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> and then, you know, Gavin, he's a racist, so he he's just been oh hiding God. for hours. Hey, folks, did you watch the PSA about Gavin Kit Kats? He's an absolute racist cat. He's so, like, seriously, oh. Gavin is so afraid of G-Man. I have no idea why. I don't think he's afraid of him at all. Rev is amazing. I know, right? I try. I See? Love, I love people, man. I love people. And then a little later, we're going to have the one in, in, out, in, out, you know? Probably. Oh, and a vessel of said lovemaking. Can you show it? A vessel. The vessel for our lovemaking, what we shall be using. What? Can you hand me it? Oh, what? Candy. Oh, the vessel? The vessel. That's, this isn't a vessel. 
Yeah, this is a Starburst candy cane. What? And 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 we're gonna like you can only imagine the things that we're gonna be doing with said Starburst candy cane tonight. We're having a little fun naughty time. I'll let you use your imaginations. But it's going to be a tasty, yummy experience. Mm -hmm. And he's quite excited about it because he's giggling right now. Yeah. <laughs> Cats need sedate, quiet folk. G-Man is boisterous. That is true. I think it's because G-Man is loud. It might be because G-Man is loud. You know what? That might be why Gavin disappears because G-Man is really loud. What's loud? G-Man. Oh, yeah, he is kind of loud. He is very loud. It's he like he's yelling constantly. Well, you say that about me, too. It's like, whatever. Oh, no, Shani. No. Gross. TMI. No, you should try it. Garden of Eden. Exactly, Sailing Map. I the Garden that. of Eden. You gotta do this, like, soon. Donate money to Shani so that she could get her tattoos. And me, too. I, there's a, I only need probably, like, 200 bucks for mine. I'll do I'll do tattoo videos and you yeah. can see the tattoo artist do his mega work of the making my ass into the Garden of Eden. I'm go, I'm going I'm going to go to him and I'm going to be like, "Dude, listen, I want you to make my whole ass into the Garden of Eden and then I want you to tramp stamp my lower back that says Garden of Eden." Okay, I want you to put some fruit on my ass, like different types of fruit, and flowers, pretty freaking flowers, maybe a bird or two. I want you to make my ass <laughs> look like the most juiciest, yummiest fucking fruit you've ever seen, so it can be nibbled on. Do you got that, sir? <laughs> and he'd probably laugh, because most guys can't take that, that, that type of speech without giggling like a schoolgirl. Yes. No, I was listening to Squeaky McGavin racist video. Oh. Oh. I can't breathe, sorry. Oh. Elemental doesn't want to share. Share what? Her finances, because she has her own tattoos. Oh, okay. That she needs to finance. Well, that's fine. I'm at, I w would be asking someone that has some money extra to, to, to spend. Could you donate a little bit of money for to us to get our tattoos? Mine is cheap pretty much. Would you spawn? Or is there a tattoo artist that would like to sponsor themselves That'd be cool, on yeah. my ass? Damn. You have your name on Shani's ass. That's pretty I'll awesome. let you sign the artwork. Whoa, holy shit. Wow. Your name will be on my ass, dude. Forever. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. One minute. The sun is... Dude, you design it? That'd be awesome. I don't know, though. I might just want the tattoo artists themselves do the design because they like doing that. That's what I wanted to do with my. And, and I, I, no offense to your art, I'm sure it's absolutely beautiful. But I know a lot of tattoo artists, and and really they like they like to do their own art. That I would want them to do it. If yeah. They, but I want I'm looking for a Christian to do mine. Yeah. I want them to be Christian. You know what would be cool on your forearm? Huh. A Starry Night by Van Gogh. On my forearm? Forearm? Yeah. That would be beautiful. I For love a you? Starry Night. Me? I don't want that. Design tattoos, that's cool. 
Oh, it's up to you. I design tattoos. That's awesome. What's up, Jessica? Rabbit. How are you? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I love you. Find your people. Yeah, man. I would love a tattoo artist to sponsor me by that, though. And do their art on me. I'll be your art piece. I'll be your perfect little canvas because my ass has a lot of space. Yeah, I volunteer for that, too. If you're a Christian tattoo artist, like, I do that. Yep. Most definitely. Did you take your medication, dear? Did you take your medication, dear? I don't have any pills. Then you need to go and yeah, pick I it up. Yeah, I I don't. Look, those things are like placebo pills. They really do nothing. Okay. Oh, my God. It's true. I'm going to tell them that. I don't want to waste any money on bullshit pills I don't need. You they guys are on here instead of celebrating? I can't take the lady out tonight, man. I, what, what, where am I going to have money to take anybody out? Right. I don't want to go out. Well, I know you don't want to, but that's not the point. I'd like to do something with you for the, this day. Well, what There's would you no like to do? There's no money. Yeah, we're going to have sex. Well, yeah, we'll have sex. Let's take you out. Go to see the Matrix. I don't care about going out or doing anything. I don't want to do anything. Whatever, dude. I would have loved to. I don't yeah, care well, I don't good. feel good. Don't feel bad, baby. Fuck. Don't feel bad. It's okay. Is that a Gavin? I don't think so. I, he, I wish it was a Gavin. He's got MIA because he came out as a racist. So now he ran away. Yeah. That's horrible, ain't it? That's true. Tune the neck is now going to be known as, you know, the R word. <laughs> I didn't want this. <laughs> Man, that's you smell that? I put that on the insides of my coat. Yes, oh. it's it's a lot of spray, dude. I like that. It's smell. kinda choking me. Sorry. I like that smell. Like, a lot. like it's choking me a lot. Like I can't breathe. Oh god. I mean, way too much. It'll be gone in a second because it's not just yeah. potent. Jesus. That kid is like half naked. It's disgusting, isn't it? It is. <coughs> we don't get paid until Friday, so it was just a nice meal at home. Yeah, man. Like, why do you have to celebrate a holiday? Like, uh. really? <laughs> Let's be honest. I am into the Black Valentine type of thinking, and um, Valentine's Day is just an excuse for candy companies and flower companies and other companies to make money. It's just a money commercial fucking system has nothing to do with St. Valentine. Do you know who St. Valentine actually is and what he did? I don't. So it's all bullshit. It's not about Valentine's Day. It's about making money and, and, and making people feel bad for not celebrating it because they don't want to celebrate it. No, Jessica, you're fine. It's just like, I celebrate my love with my man every day. Okay, well I'm. Just, I don't need Valentine's Day. Okay, all I'm gonna say, and I'll I'll move on, is that there's an obvious financial situation with this household. So how could I do that? That's my question. And I don't care if it is or not. No, no donations came in. So how can like, I? Like even if we did. Even if we did have money, I yeah. still want to stay in. Sure. Because I'll tell you what. I don't fucking feel good and my ankle is sprained. 
Why would I want to go out? And I'm PMS in. Oh, okay. Well, fine. You don't know what's going on. Well, can you just calm down? Yeah, I'm done. Like, I don't like. This is stupid. They're continuing the conversation. I know because they want to get in people's fucking business. <laughs> But yes, it's about chocolate. There you go, Shanny. Right? I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. I ain't arguing about this fucking stupid shit. Oh, no, me neither. I'm done. Because first, nobody cares about, in this household, cares about Valentine's Day. So... Why don't you go out and spend a bunch of money at these corporations so you can sit down and have shitty fucking food because the restaurants now can't afford proper ingredients. Yeah. <coughs> Let me waste $120 on a meal that's shittier than if I could make it and it would be costing like $30. I'd rather eat my shit than fu some fucking restaurant shit. I'll be honest. Thank you, Bejeweled Christian. Like I said, I'm pro Black Valentine. So. You're my baby girl. I'm the anti Valentine girl. Fucking. I, I, I once got overtook by someone on Valentine's Day, right? My parents got married on Valentine's Day. Their marriage, total fucking bullshit sham. All my mom wanted is control over my dad. And he'd, t and he'd give her control because he was a cuck. Wow. And then with va another thing about Valentine's Day is this is the day that me and Chris had our first date. And, um, the things he has been saying recently, he's so fucking full of shit. But anyway, uh, yeah, I was lied to and, and thought that someone actually truly loved and cared about me on Valentine's Day. But instead, he decided to break my fucking heart tear my heart out put it in a blender spin it around for about 20 fucking cycles take the sludge pour it down the goddamn drain and then after bleach the motherfucker that's what that motherfucker did to my heart and it all started on fucking Valentine's Day because my parents had to get fucking married on Valentine's Day and I had to have my first fucking date with that motherfucking asshole who destroyed who I was as a person. Uh. Fuck Valentine's Day. All you single people, you can say it too. Say it with me. Fuck Valentine's Day. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. That was hilarious. My inner pain just came out there. <laughs> Not to mention Al Capone killed seven of Bugs Moran's men on this day. There's that too, Chuck Wagon. There's that too. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm just agreeing with you just to agree with you. <laughs> Hi, Trish. How are you? <laughs> Happy St. Valentine's Day Massacre Day. Wow. That's right, Chuck. <laughs> I 
I'm fucking dark tonight, man. I'm dark. Shouldn't we be doing the side by side cam or no? Do you want to do the side by side cam? No, I didn't know. Because I'm hitting this thing, so I guess not. Hey, baby, whatever you want to do, I'm willing to do for you tonight, my love. You're cute. Mm. That's right. You feel that, baby. Oh, my God. Look at this. Ooh. <sighs> You're so naughty. Sorry. You're just hot. It's kind of hard not to do that. You have been sick for like three weeks now. Yep. Horrible. Dog shit. A lot of things have happened to me in the three weeks that are horrifying that nobody knows about. Well, that's true. So. I always thought it was ironic that VD means Valentine's Day and venereal disease. Uh, it does work. They go together, man. Like peas and carrots. Because we know there's some desperate, lonely motherfucker who buys into the stupid Valentine's Day myth. And, and they're going out there to fornicate with some dirty person who likes to fornicate all the time and they end up with a freaking VD and then there's Chantel talking about green fucking peens Ew. and saying how could you break my heart and she ended up getting another VD from Nader and then she shaved uh. her head bald and then and then she made meatloaf for freaking Pete's because he's a real man. And then Nader decided to go and put on a freaking dress of freaking foodie beauty and dance around with pillows under him and act like a total ass twat while foodie beauty's like, I don't know how to make fun of them. And I'm just watching this whole thing while she's shoveling food after food and she's Three wearing hours, right? these tan fucking pants. And if you watch this movie... Okay, I'm going to say this. Chantel's ass reminds me of this. It's, I find it accurate. But if you watch Bill and Ted 2 and you see the Martian's ass, that is Chantel's ass. And I cannot help now but see her ass as looking like the freaking Martian's ass because she wore those tan pants with the with it like so far like a huge fucking wedgie up her ass and it looks just like their asses i'm just saying i'm totally ranting right now ain't i you've been traumatized again i have been traumatized <laughs> again chantelle's videos between her and nader has traumatized me Triggered. I, th they have given me more PTSD. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's because you care about her, though. I do care that's about her. because you care about her. That's right, Elemental. I am Reaction Channel, and I apologize. <laughs> yes, I do get it, Channeling. <laughs> Let me get into my inner reaction channel. That is ignorant. You can't say that people who channel do that stuff, and I'll be like, listen. Some of you motherfuckers do. Don't be lying. I see your channel in videos. I like your laugh. Thank you, Cinderella. So is everyone excited that Trisha Paytas is pregnant? I started crying. That's beautiful. I did too. I, I, like, I saw that and I just instantly cried because I've been watching Trisha for like, fuck, 10 years. And she's always said she would trade her fame. She would trade all her money. She would trade anything if she could just have a baby. And to see this woman struggle so long with 
with one and a baby. Yeah. I cried. That, it's that's it. Like that's so amazing. And now she's feeling oh. this beautiful life inside her. Oh. oh, and she's so happy. She's glowing. She's glowing, and she she says she feels like her life's complete. But yet, at the same time, it's starting to. Like, oh my God. And she, like, here's the thing with Trisha. Like, a baby means everything to her because she'll finally have that one person who will truly give her that unconditional love Bubby. that she's needed for her whole life. Yeah. Um, oh. You know, because your child will love you regardless of what the fuck you do to your child. Well, yeah. Yeah. I was abused child, and I still love my mom, even though she's a cunt. Oh, that's the word. <clears throat> it's accurate. She needs to, like, really, 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 really fucking apologize to me. And I, I'd love it before she dies to apologize to me and actually mean it for once. But I know I'm not going to get that. You might. So I have to accept not getting that. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm going to get a uh, pipe tobacco. Okay. How far are you going? Right down the road, literally. Okay. Like, not give it up. It's not even close to a mile. It's like literally right there. Okay. Yeah. If you could afford a pack of cigarettes or something close to that. I don't think so. Okay. Sorry. Or cones, maybe? Or something like that? I don't like think that? so. Really? It, look, the price of tobacco has tripled. I know every, tripled. everything is going up in price. Okay. Like how many people are surviving on just sandwiches? I mean, I'll try to fill Let me know. I'll try. Sandwich. What? Baba Ganesh? Yeah, he said, here's your Baba Ganesh. Worship it. No. Oh, my God. Worship your We Baba have Ganesh. to clip this and give it to Chantel. No, he didn't say Baba Ganesh. Oh, he didn't say Baba Ganesh. I'm oh, just... if he said that, I had, to, I, like, I had to clip that for Chantel. No, I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm telling <laughs> tales out of school. You get oh, that oh. expression? Yes. <gasps> There's squeaks. <gasps> My baby Gavin. <laughs> There's squeaks. Don't worry. He's not here. Okay, you got to sniff the... He's Right now, Gavin came in for the first time after G-Man left the house. And now he's sniffing around the parameters of the house to make sure everything is okay. What do you guys make of the next drama? I know nothing of the next drama, and I don't care. A little boy named Seymour from Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Is everything okay? Okay, that was weird sound. I don't care about drama. It's not good for your mental health. Are you pregnant, Trish? No, Trisha Paytas is pregnant. Trisha Paytas is pregnant. <laughs> no, it's like I, I'm so happy for her. She's finally getting something that she truly, 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 truly wanted and needed and desired. Like, I can't wait to see the baby videos. I can't wait to see her stomach grow. You damn well know Trisha is going to be doing one of those time lapse pregnant video tummy videos. 
You damn well know Trisha's gonna do that because she's iconic at copying other people's like YouTube videos. So she's gonna do all the like the YouTube video type standard stuff, which is the side by the side view of the stomach, you know, time lapse throughout the pregnancy. I know she's got that planned. My only question is. Is she going to be doing some naughty stuff on OnlyFans pregnant and work into that kink? Yes, I know she had up the heartbeat ultrasound. It's so sweet. The first time you hear the heartbeat of your baby. Oh my God. It's the most spiritual experience of your life. It's like, oh my God. There's life inside me. Like, I love my babies. Any idea why Trish needs to apologize to her Shan? She doesn't. My mother does. Are you paying attention? A void of darkness. A cold eternity. Tr <laughs> Trisha is pregnant? Oh my god, I have no idea. I'm so happy for her. She's finally getting the family she wants. I know. I cried. I cried. I cried. I couldn't help it. I was just like, it's... Gosh. She's been talking about wanting a baby for so long. And she had to do it the right way. She had to get married first. She had to do it the traditional way in order to get pregnant. I find that so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's even talked about trying to trick guys into making her pregnant before like there you go focus you're at work babies are rad What's up, Johnny Appleseed? <sighs> Why did it take her, her so long? Because she had infertility problems. Johnny's cool as shit, man. Oh, shit. Sounds like you are, Trish. Fair enough. Mm. I wish my mother would make up before she dies, but she never will. She never will. She'll never say sorry. She'll, she'll never take back the things she's done. You know, because she justifies herself over the shitty fucking thing she's done to me. She justifies herself. See, her problem is, is I reacted to her abuse. And I should have been silent. That's her problem with me. What up, Johnny? Aw, Jessica, you'll get babies someday. It just sometimes takes time. Every girl deserves to be loved by their mom. What's that like? 
You will have that choice when the time comes, Jessica. Yeah, man. Dude, it's going to be awesome. Hi, baby. My Gavin boy. My sweetie Gavin boy. Oh, yes. Need the right man first. Yeah. Make sure you can find it. Like, seriously, take this freaking woman's advice. Okay? Don't go down my route. Make sure you're financially secure before you have children. And make sure your man's financially secure before you have children. Uh, make sure that you're emotionally ready to have children. And um, he's emotionally ready to have children. And um, yeah, it'll be better for them, the kids. That is. Don't do a stupid mistake and be like, well, we're poor, but, you know, if it happens, it happens, and then you end up pregnant. And then you're like, holy shit, having a baby is expensive, and you're struggling constantly. You don't want to do that. Yay! Gary did it, you know. Come back. Oh, yes. Real good filters, man. They're good ones. Oh, actually. can you make me... I was 87 food? cents poor. He said, no problem, brother. Uh, I love Indians. They're awesome, yeah, especially if you're a loyal customer. I love Indians. Yeah, they'll just straight up be like, yeah, you're fine. Because they're used to the barter system. So they'll barter. And I love it. Because it's culturally like, part, it's culturally part of them <gasps> one minute hey, i can't so dudes okay okay so all right what can i have the lighter yeah dudes my husband came back <laughs> a with a big giant bag of Tobacco. Yeah, new one, yay. And oh, I love what these. Are you doing here? These tube cuts. Yeah, dude, they're the best. Gambler. <sighs> Gambler is like the best. Because G Man for Valentine's Day gave us the love of cigarettes. Send in love, support, and acceptance, Shanny. Thank you, criminality. Rev Rollie. Most oh appreciate it. Yep. I want to make them, I do. I mean, lighter. Friggin' contact me in my email, jasonegroff2020 at gmail.com for, for business inquiries. I want to do the Rev Rolly thing, dude. Let's make money. One minute. Like, this is insane at this point. Okay, where were we? Squeaks McGavin. Yeah, we have a Squeaks McGavin situation. He's leaving already? Yeah, he left. Fuck me. Yeah, he's done. He's traumatized by individuals. <laughs> Barter system is the shit. It is, dude. What the hell? Why is this in here? Oh. There's Squeaks. Hey, Tuna Neck. What are you doing? What's up, Tuna? What's up, Tunes? <laughs> hey, Tunes. He's like, I'm hungry. Holy shit. One minute. I'll be right back. I gotta give the cat some food. Floppy boy. Alright.
So anyway. There. Anyway. Jesus, thank you, Will. Where was I? <laughs> My cigarette fucking burnt all the way it up. It did. Oh, shit. Oh. Getting Gavin his his turkey. You're being a good cat, Mom, you know? I know. Squeaky McGavin. It says, Fat Photog YouTube channel made a great Rev Rollies commercial. Nice. That's I, I, I think I've seen that, actually. That was funny. No, I endorse that. And I would like to get... If somebody is in the tobacco business, that, that, that... Yes. I would love to be like a promoter for you or you want to do the Reverend Dude character with it, I'd do that. Whatever, talk to me. If you want to do that and we can hook up a little situation. If you want to hire me God, and have I, me smoke. Jeez. Fuck's sake. If you want to be engaged in a financial uh, uh, hookup, yeah, let's do it, okay? And I would go, I would go 70, 70, 30 with the profit, okay? 70 30 and if you don't like that if you don't like 70 30 we could take it uh 60 40 if you're okay with that but that's the two options i'm not going to go lower than 60 40 okay <laughs> uh so yeah you can contact me at jason Egra 2020 at gmail.com for business inquiries and that's it so i have to go do a shout out to stacy the beautiful queen herself. Mm -hmm. Happy yeah, Valentine's love, Day, darling. Yeah, we love Stacy. And then we got Jabble Appleseed's comment, and this is hilarious. <laughs> My dumb high ass is smashing a dollar can of Pringles in the Dollar General parking lot listening to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's our kind of folks. <laughs> Photog will work with rep. Really? Are you serious? Yeah, I, hey, sign the, make a contract, Photog, and we can, let's make a deal. Let's seal, sell some cigarettes and we'll do it. I'm on board with it. That'd be cool. I, yeah, I'm totally endorse it. But we need a financial, you know, there needs to be a little bit of financial, because I need to make money, but guys. It's nothing, I don't want to be an asshole. I just need to make money. So, so do I. Yeah, and Shani does too. So I would love to do it, but let's talk about financial situation. We'll do it. We'll do it. I'm sitting on the <laughs> couch eating provolone slices. That's a good choice. That's, I, that's sexy as shit for Valentine's Day. I love provolone. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Let me eat some fucking provolone, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Laugh my ass out, Shittison. <laughs> I love that name. Shittison. Hello, my fellow Shittisons. It's a good one. <laughs> that's how that's how our government looks at us. They're like, oh, look at these Shittisons here, <laughs> and yeah, laughing Biden, their bureaucratic yeah. laugh. Yeah, Biden. What a disgrace the man is. <laughs> He's a disgrace to the state. What? Biden. Yeah, fuck Biden. He is a disgrace. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go, Brandon. I I, I said the wrong thing. <laughs> I, I was I was on PC with that. Well, he agrees with you on that. Let's go, Brandon. So there. What did Jason no, do I for you? No, I want that question to stop. Yeah. It's like I don't have money. If I had financial. He got me tobacco. He got me cake. Sure, I he beg, got me cookies. I begged to G-Man for twenty-two dollars, and he gave me twenty-two ones. Okay, and he's giving me some fun ass loving. I love you. Yeah, we'll do that. We're gonna slam. You know, we're gonna slam. I will be air frying pizza in honor of Shan and Jay tonight, and mm. you will love it. Mm -hmm. It's the best way how to make pizza. You're gonna have fun with that. No Kratom? Okay. Uh -huh. I don't like Kratom. No Kratom. I don't mind it. Kratom's not for me, man. Felt okay. It's not for but me. But I don't th I think it's a waste of money for what they charge. Yeah, I don't like Kratom. Just give me give me give me good old hemp products. I I'll, I'll be happy yeah, with CBD, something. Oh my god, a CBD cigarette is Give right. me oh, give me a CBD cigarette. I'd smoke the shit out of that. Yeah. 
my girl and I will be watching They Live tonight. We watched They Live like a couple Whoa, days ago. Well, that was ago. a spirit orb. <sighs> there was a spirit orb back there on the, bl- on the blue screen. But seriously, we watched They Live a couple days ago. Yeah, we did. Kratom is rad. I mean, some people like it. I'm the drinking Kratom and reading right now. Kratom is not a war. Kratos. That's Kratos, Johnny. Kratos. <laughs> some people like Kratom, some people don't. Some yeah, people I, some people prefer their hemp products. I prefer good old granddaddy perp. That's the real deal, granddaddy perp. I prefer a good haze. Granddaddy perp uh blunts. Some Jack Hair. Jack Hair, absolutely. Yeah. If you've never Express. tried Jack Hair, you must. Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, Maui Wowie. Maui Wowie's delicious. Yep. Papaya. Papaya, yeah. Sherbert. Skittles. Gorilla Glue number mm, yeah. uh, eight. Luke Skywalker, mm. Princess Leia. Ah. The Death Star. Diamond OG. Diamond OG. Nice. Jesus OG. Oh, it's good shit. That's real good shit. I love Diamond OG, man. Yeah. Give me some diamonds. A girl loves diamonds. Yeah, we could do that. Cook a dinner and watch a movie. We can do that. But we're just hanging out having fun anyway. We all have a good day every day, pretty much. You know? Just doing fun stuff we want to do. It's the American dream. <sighs> Dude, I wonder how G-Man's doing at his date. I hope he's doing good. I'm going to call him tomorrow and ask. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, he's, dude. Hey, dude. He's apparently been dating her for a while. Dude. So. Yeah, he's been. Yeah. It's like, dude, give me the tea. Uh huh. Okay. Bro, you did what? Okay. Dude. All right. Dude. Coo. I. Peace. <laughs> uh... Obey. Awesome. Smoking way too much in the name of love. Marvin Gaye. Listen, you just love Mary Jane. And because you love Mary Jane, you you have Mary Jane, you know, chilling with you at all times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, sick and entitled. Everyone is chilling at home. It's the new way since Corona. Exactly, man. No one wants to go out and spend a bunch of fucking money they don't have just to have some shitty meal where you have to wear a mask half the time. Okay, I know the move. One move. Okay, you're going to have a choice, okay, between two it's movies. It's miserable going out now. You're going to have a choice between two movies. What? Do you want to say? Do you want to see talk radio? Or do you want to see the Fisher King? They're both radio movies. But neither. They're, they're both really good movies, and I I wouldn't mind watching one of them. Of course not. See, it's got it. Well, then what do you want to watch, then, honey? I don't know. Yeah, that's great. I have an actual great suggestion. Like the Fisher King, you've never seen. It's a phenomenal movie. It's really good. <clears throat> Fer, let's watch Fern Gully. How's that? I want to watch Fern Gully. Great movie, ain't it? I like Fern Gully. Yes, but <laughs> I want to watch Fern Gully. I love the Fryer Pizza, dude. God, that's insanely good. Yeah, it's so good. Whoa. See, I mean, oh, did you? Ah, oh, Rev got me hooked on Air you Fryer s- Pizza. See, they know now. You you tried that for because of me. That's flattering. Yes, and also Jeff Bridges, the dude. That's right. He's in that movie. I'm uh, going to see the new Batman. Cool. The, the one, the one with Robert Patterson. Patterson yeah. Oh, potatoes are best on the grill. Actually, I think. I've always been a homebody. Me too. Like I don't fucking like going out. We have that in common, too. Yeah. We really do. We watched Total Recall it for the 70th time together again. Yeah, and Aliens. And Aliens when we were trying to go to sleep. She, um, Shandy's like, put on a movie we've seen a billion times and we'll go to sleep. <laughs> like, okay. It worked. It did. 
do airheads for radio. Airheads? Yeah, that's a great movie. Yeah. Yes, and it's stoner. I don't think we have that. We I'm should saying, look. look the Fisher, Let me see. Let me see. We, do we, we don't. do we have airheads? We do not. No, I think we may. I'm pretty sure we don't. Uh. Unless you bought it, and I wouldn't know. I would. Bullshit. A tinderbox fucking shit. Why is it music? I wanted movies. Okay, let me see. No. We have airplane. Yeah, I told you. All right, let's see if they have it on one of the free things. Let's see. We had a pass. Where where the fuck is my fucking phone? British Batman, nah. <laughs> right? See, this is ridiculous. I'm just done with Batman. They they did it's enough. They, uh, fuck, I can't do it. Hey, focus. 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 I'm not. I'm not. Focus. Doing okay. No. Well, honey, you're not doing British Batman, dude. White Castle. New one. Harold and Kumar do White Castle. Another one. No, it's a new one. Oh, there's there's the old ones. Yeah, we watch that. Harold and Kumar. There's another though. Again? Yep. It's amazing. Oh my god. Very active. The Harold and Kumar Christmas special was is the bomb. What the hell, man? What? There's some major spirit activity. Ah, uh, you can watch it on Hulu. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Screw that. That sucks. Is that serious? That's gotta be feathers or something or smoke. I don't know what it is. Oh, my scene. It's annoying. It's got to be like Valentine's Eve. Have we seen that Ava movie? Yeah, yeah, it was okay from what I remember. We, what? Uh, he's taken. Yeah, she can come. She can be free. If she eats it, she eats it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Will. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, don't be a, 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 a pucker butt. We should watch a Bruce Lee movie. Because he kicks ass. It's amazing. I'm looking at Valentine's Day movies, dear. Or uh, Valentine's Eve. have? Oh, my God, whatever. Okay. Baby. That's fine, if that's what you want. My Bloody Valentine. Let me see if they have that. My Bloody Valentine. See, he, I said it right before he said it. I thought you said it because... No. That's no. Right. Oh, my God. Sleepless in, in the notebook, we have that, don't we? I think we might have Sleepless in Seattle. Let's see. My bloody Valentine. I loved my big warrior doll that you pulled the string and, and he went, I am the warrior and shit like that. He was awesome. And then I ripped his torso in half by accident. Jeez. Fifty first dates Adam Sandler. That's that's not a bad movie. Enter the Dragon. Exactly. I'd love a Bruce Lee movie, but she wants, you know. Yeah. Just seeing where we can see it. Yeah. It doesn't say. Oh, watch on stars. All the good. Th like they know Valentine's Day is coming up, so they're like, Nah, man. We're gonna like. Okay, let me just go to Pluto TV. No, man. See what. Like, they're doing this shit on purpose, bro. Yeah, of course they are, to, ha to maximize profit, of always. Yeah, exactly. Because they know people are going to look it up, so they're like, okay, we get, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. Love and basketball. <laughs> Love and basketball. Oh, Twilight. That's, is that Valentine's Day, E? Kind of, sorta. Is it really? Well, what's yeah, your favorite one? Yeah, it's love. Watch? What's your favorite one to watch? The first one. I don't know. Ow. Ooh, they have forty-eight hours. Why is that on Pluto TV? Forty-eight hours. You know, he says the N-word to Eddie Murphy. He should be canceled. Anyway. You're right. <laughs> True story. He does call him that. 
He does. Paramount Disney. Plus. Like it's like people wonder where our language came on. Why don't you re- watch the movies from the eighties and sure. the nineties? Yeah, I think the one that's worth worth the the most is Disney Plus because they got so much. Yeah, man. Harambe and closure. <laughs> Yeah, it's too many of these monthly things. It ra- it rapes your wallet. Yeah, I don't like Tubi and Pluto TV. It's like bam, you're done. If you don't mind it. Do the, do you know there's a Denzel Washington movie called The Great Debater? No. The Great Debater is what? Wow, we got to watch that. We got to watch that. That might uh, be it. He's a master debater. Oh, that's why there's Black Cinema. It's Black History Month. Mm-hmm. Jeez. I'm like, what is going on with this? It's all that's on here. Yeah. Oh, speaking of black cinema, there's this really cool movie that's coming out. It's called Nope. Nope. It's called Nope. And on this movie, it's like a alien invasion movie, and it's like this black family on the on a farm. Well, and we don't know if it's alien. I don't know it's, if it's alien. It's something. It's something really. It's scary. something that makes you say nope. I want to see it. It's, it's come. Got, it's coming out. Um, yeah. Uh, July twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. Look it up. Nope. Chatty. It's trippy as fuck. The what? thing that they depicted reminded me kind of of the plague in my book a little bit. Yeah. It's like a black just cloud. A crazy looking something. But yeah, it might be aliens. It might be. Sleepless in Seattle. Yes. I must hear Meg Ryan have the, her fake orgasm. Uh-huh. Pastrami sandwich. True story. Clerks. We watched Clerks recently. We did watch Clerks. Oh, you want, let's watch Ever After. Baby! Yeah, let's watch that. That's, That's just, so romantic. Well, We're going to have to go, though, if we watch an Ever After. Why? We'll do sexy time. We'll do that. No, because I love that movie, and I really I, I, like want to no. be intimate with you during that movie. And well, kissy and stuff. well, the cuddly. We can do that. Stay online, though. But I get cuddly during that time. We can cuddle. Okay. We're I know. not. We're not fucking I, each other. Listen, Jesus. I'm not talking about that. I just want. <laughs> I, I I would enjoy watching that movie with alone time. Princess Bride is a good choice too. You gotta stay on. We we should stay on for a while. We haven't been on in a while, Sheena. We've been on for two hours. So That's we'll... not long at all. We uh, <laughs> make money, man. We should be making money. We gotta think about that. You know. You gotta try. Valentine's Day. Holy shit. We'll watch it at we'll watch that movie then after you're off. And we'll cut on Well, it should be soon because I'm not feeling good. Whatever. Notting Hill, four weddings and a funeral. See, they're giving good freaking, like, things out. <gasps> the Three Musketeers. I'm sorry. Titanic, there's a love story. Yeah, that's a love movie. I'll watch Titanic, and then we'll co- we could put Ever After after that. Yeah. And, uh, I'll be on as long as Titanic. Full on movies. Titanic again. A Tropic Thunder is hilarious. Okay, fine. We'll do Titanic. Okay. Yes. Titanic it is. Or, uh, ten things I hate about Do we have Sleepless in Seattle? I don't think so. I don't think we do either. I think there's a free one that has that, though. I'm pretty sure. Let me look. Sleepless. What the hell am I in putting? Seattle? What am I putting on? Jesus. Titanic. Okay. Gotcha. Let's see. We can see if we have sleepless in Seattle. We don't. I, during that time, going down. But I don't see it. SLC. Talk. Yeah, we do. We oh, we do have sleepless in Seattle. I didn't know that. <laughs> I think I might have bought that one day. 
Well, then we're going to have to see Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we'll watch Sleepless in Seattle. All right, cool. We'll watch freaking Tom Hanks. Gross. We couldn't do it last time. Let's push through, honey. Well, this is a All of Hollywood is full of perverts. Yeah, it's disgusting, actually. They're all fucking per perverted. They, it re they really are. They're all pedophilic. It's really disgusting. It bothers me. It perturbs my being. Yeah, me too, actually, big time. It's gross. Johnny, I have something to tell you, okay? Me and Jason have uh, never wrapped it. Why would we? There's no reason to. There's not one time we wrapped it in, in our, our um, uh, nocturnal activity life. Well, there's no reason to. <laughs> Jack still dies at the end. It hurts too much. You cry, Michael Scott, at the end. When Jack dies, and she's like, I'll never let you go, but yet she lets him go. She has to. He's, he's passed on. I want to see Seattle. It's, it's crazy looking soon. You can get some mega fucking awesome weed in Seattle. Mm -hmm. I would imagine. <gasps> we could have a weedcation in Seattle. That'd be sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to take a weedcation in Seattle. Does anyone want to sponsor it? Yeah, I would definitely want to take a pilgrimage to, to, to Kirk Cobain's house where he lives. I would definitely want to see that. Okay, that's definite. Go to the hotel that um, the heart, the, the heart, the, the heart box. Uh, what is it fucking called? Heart shaped box? The heart shaped box was made in. Written in? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. It was written in a hotel room? Yeah, like literally Kurt and frickin' Courtney fucked for hours in the hotel and disturbed everyone. Is that for real? And then he wrote the song afterwards. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> That's crazy. It's got some pretty dark lyrics. You know that? God, what is with people in work all the time? Ah, uh, I just hate it. BLM. Don't mind him. He's just a guy who lost his wife. Aw, oh, poor Tom Hanks. He lost his wife. Yeah, you would be like that. You what? lost me. Irritable. That's, yeah. Whenever that's going to happen. <sighs> We're very happy for Trisha and Moses. I'm so happy for Trisha and Moses. William, I hear the guinea pig. Give him some fuds. Boy. He's like, please. I need fuds. Hi, Gavin. That's a boy. Hey, Gav. You're cute. He's like, please. Look at this baby. Please, please, please. Gavin, come here. Why can't Gavin come here? Because he has to, like, about a billion times scope the whole perimeter of the room make to make sure, sure no G-Man's not here. Okay, gotcha. He's been doing this for about two hours now. Going back and forth through the house. The cat is OCD or some yeah, shit I like think that. you're right about that, actually, yeah. <laughs> Gavin Key Cat. He doesn't like G-Man. What? No, I don't think he doesn't like him. He, he's still not comfortable around him yet. Bill Pullman's in this movie. Rosie is in this movie. I forgot that. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't even know that. Yeah. At all. I love Rosie O'Donnell. No, I know you do. David Hyde Pierce. Rob Reiner. Oh, my God. Rob Reiner. Holy shit. <laughs> I hurled my eyes at I Rob know, yeah, Reiner. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. <coughs> I need cigarettes. Hit Megan. You have the tobacco. Oh, I have the tobacco. Holy shit. Sorry. Do 
Mike, Mike Maddie, I mean, but. Yeah, this is a type of music my mom played perpetually trying to torture me, so. Jesus Christ. She just did not care. Oh, Daddy's Little Monster, that's Harley. I like that. I'm <laughs> Daddy's Little Monster. Put on some, put on some thick Harley accent and some hot shit. Yeah, I'm the BBW <laughs> Harley. Now that is what they need to do. They need to put me and Jason in a Batman movie yeah. where we both will play Harley and Joker. Would you be able to take doing scenes with me though when I'm doing a character? Yeah. I don't I don't think you could. No, I'm acting. Uh I think it would traumatize you because it would probably remind you of when I was drinking. Yeah, but I'm acting, I'm focusing on something. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're being a character, so you're yeah. And you know it's acting too. Yeah. Alright, yeah. We sh hey, if somebody would cast us in that shit, I definitely I would love to play Joker. I would. I'd love to play Holly. There you go, and it's a totally different look because I got long hair. I look like a metal guy. And I got the pretty blue eyes that Holly has. And screw, I am just totally sick of this shit with Jared Leto. Like you, you, you were a shit Joker with short hair. Now leave it there. Leave Jared Leto. Alone. I will not. Okay. He failed at Joker. He's my boyfriend. <clears throat> I don't care. He he failed at Joker, and now he wants to do a long-haired one. No, that's mine. He's beautiful. That's my Joker. He's beautiful. A crazy metal. He's Joker. a beautiful, beautiful man. Leave him alone. No. I've been in love with Gerald Leto since I was like seven or something like that. Well, all right, Some kind of shit. Him. I should marry Jared Leto. We Jared already, Leto, will you marry me? We already did a, a cosplay of Harley and Joker, but we, of course our channels were taken down by everybody. Yeah. So you, if, to see that video, it might be on an archive channel. Who knows? Yeah. It might be. Oh, wow, you had that shirt back in 77. That's awesome. <laughs> That's cool as shit. Wouldn't that be wonderful if my mom called me up one day or got a hold of me one day and then, you know, actually apologized? That would be a pissa. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, Joaquin Phoenix is your favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I ruined your life, child. Joaquin, Joaquin's was completely unique and I loved it. Yeah. I really liked it. Joaquin is my favorite. Then Heath. Well, I don't know. Heath is just so. Even in that role, you didn't thought he was attractive in that role. Did Heath you? Ledger. Yeah, in jo in the role of Joker, you thought he was hot in that role. Jesus, that's really weird. I'm literally your ha Harley, and you're my Joker. Sure, but I he, have the kink. He did not put out any kind of positive sexual I, I'm sorry I have the kink okay it's his mind I love okay he's a psychotic killer yes but his logic is sound wow can I have a, 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 a. <laughs> what do you want a x-ray yeah I don't what the ow my shoulder hurts so bad. What the hell happened to the x-ray? Is it here? No, here it is. I got it. Ah. I put it in the back because it was a tinder box. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> no. Now, who's the villain going to be in the Batman movie? Is it Joker? Are they going to have another person play Joker? Going to have 15 Jokers? I just wish they just let the whole genre kind of die. Yeah, it needs to, because it's making cinema a joke. Tekashi. No, we didn't get a lot of snow, just the dusting. Fucking bullshit. I will say Meg Ryan looks very pretty in this movie. Ah, uh, you think so? Yeah. She was a soap opera girl. Mm -mm. No, I'm with Shani. They need to let it die. 
and then someday maybe try it's penguin it. they're gonna do another penguin how Are could you, you how could you replace danny devito there is no way okay you can't go up you can't rise up to danny devito penguin riddler you can't like jim carrey hutch oh that's a new one i guess that's bullshit penguin Hi, there's no way is it is it gonna be devito cowboy movie What Rev's cowboy movie? <laughs> what? What? I have no idea what you're talking about. The Batman thing is like the Super Bowl halftime. There was no talent nowadays big enough to do it. So they use the previous generation just like they are doing with movie ideas. Yeah, exactly, Johnny. Killing joke. Exactly. They it's like they let put all these old rappers on stage. Yeah. I think Miley Cyrus, too, because she's got to be in everything because she's the only one who'll be like, yeah, I'll do it because no one wants to go out because no one wants to get COVID because we've all had COVID by now and we're all been fucking really fucking sick because of it. Okay, the Killing Joe comic is kick-ass kick and also... Colin Farrell is Penguin. Okay, I'm done. Give me a moment. I need to just... This is the most the Fucking shit type of shit. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, just God. let me let me take care of this. Okay, go ahead. Colin Farrell. Let me put this right here. I refuse to watch that fucking movie. Colin Farrell is as tall as Robert Patterson in the movie, and he looks like ass. How dare you defile the name of Penguin like that? I can't do it anymore. How dare you try to beat Danny DeVito? He was a legend as Penguin. You can't, you can't top him. Well, actually, the best Penguin was Burgess Meredith. True. That's the best Penguin, in my opinion. You are destroying cinema now hollywood yeah. you're destroying your own selves because because you can't think of any new things or have any new ideas at all you're total shit now hollywood youtube is actually more superior in creativity yeah. than your asses and i'm 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 angry and i'm calling corporate and i need to take another break because i'm really mad over this situation and i need to calm down this is this is not productive. You're not the real Jared Leto. You're might a be. fake Jared Leto. He might be. The real Jared Leto would have a check mark. No, he wouldn't. Maybe not. Yeah, he would. You can't write something official Jared. And, and just have me believe you're actually... D. Jared Leto, right after conveniently when I talk about Jared Leto. Did it take you five seconds to change your name and, and, and put Jared Leto's freaking face on your profile, huh, sir? Huh, 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 This is huh? bullshit, okay? Jared, you tried to play Joker in Suicide Squad and you blew it. It sucked, okay? So let me try. Yeah, I'll play it definitely and, and people be so disturbed and blown away. It'd be pretty nuts ask me a question i would only know how many girls did you fuck in your cult Jesus Christ. wow i would assume only you would know that the girls know <clears throat> does he have a harem I'm glad you're okay, <laughs> Elemental. That's good. That's good. The lower number is the ones I didn't. Uh -huh. Oh, you're so you, Jared. I so believe it. <laughs> I believe it is. It's Jared Leto. I'm going to look up his channel. Look, you fucked up your, your chance. Now, now give it to me. I, it's my turn. 
And I'll do the best one. The Rock will be Black Adam. What? Huh? What? <laughs> Okay, it's not him. No. Fine, you got the wrong avatar. You can't even troll good enough to put the right avatar? I just sub to him because he's cool. God, yeah, you got to be really into that. Like, that's like 100% into that. Right? He's a beautiful man. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's he's just a beautiful man. He's I mean, uh, he's dreamy. Jared Leto. You, you... You Jesus-looking motherfucker. Ow, oh, my back hurts. I love your song so much. The Kill. The Kill, yeah. yeah you love that one. I do, too. I say I can five-star gold. I, 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 I love everything you're in. Get a job. No, and... Good. You're one of them, Jared? You're on an island by yourself with a cult, man. You're telling us to get jobs. Come on. God. Give me an acting job, Jared. In the Flash movie, Michael Keaton is coming back as the old Batman. Jared, could you do me a solid and get yeah, me... Yeah, and it's probably going to be really sucky because... Yeah, probably. Because they're just bringing Michael Keaton. Because Michael Keaton obviously haven't had a lot of jobs lately. And he needed a job. So he decided uh, to do that for nostalgic reasons. Because everyone's nostalgic. Because we're all in our houses not doing anything. And being bored with our fucking lives. Not Jared from Subway. Jared Leto. Shanny, you must have a thing for men with long hair. She does. Correct? Yeah, she did. Jesus came. <laughs> They're all asking Jared questions. Michael Keaton Batman. Yeah, that is cool. I'm so pessimistic with Hollywood now. Jared from They Subway. can't do it anymore. Jesus Christ. It's like all that evil <laughs> And 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 map stuff they like do has teared all creativity out of them. Why that Shanny? What? Why would why would I talk about Jared from Subway? That's strange. Yeah. That's saying, man. Yeah, but if Jared Leto says get a job, hey dude, could you get me an acting job? Because I'll take it now. Can you get me an acting job? I'll play your mother. I'll be I'll be your Jewish mother. And um you know, we'll I, see how it goes. Yeah, I don't watch any of the new Star Wars trash. No, we don't watch any of the new Star Wars shit. I refuse to see that ruined fucking shit. They're gonna ruin it all. They, they, they ruin. Oh, Predator! I'm not watching any new pre. All the uh, all the newer Predators suck anyway. Oh, they're horrible. And Alien vs. Predator suck. All of them suck. AVT. And we've watched a lot of like new movies, and we're yeah. so disappointed. They, like, they <laughs> killed Star Wars, destroyed it. But although I do kind of enjoy the last one, Chan. Yeah, I like. Do you like the? Okay. I kind of enjoyed the way that they, they, they did Luke. I think right? the last modern movie I liked was the last Terminator. It movies, too. They were good. Yeah, the It movies were really good. Yeah. Uh, the new the new Chucky was good, but it was all it was all a rehashing. Of the well, same shit. Of old shit. There's nothing new. The one thing I really, really enjoyed about it's it's really like at the last part of the Last Jedi, right? Mm -hmm. it, when 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 Luke is floating and then he disappears, it's like I imagine that like a rapture, you know? Yeah, that is pretty cool. That's why I really like that. I like that. Bill and Ted's movie was good. Oh, it was phenomenal. Yeah, face I give, the mu music. Face the music. Yeah, Bill and Ted face the music. I give a ten. That was good. I give that a ten, definitely. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's the best one in my opinion. In my opinion. 
Yeah. The Killing Joke is a phenomenal comic, but you need if you like the comic, you need to go to iTunes and put in Batman Killing Joke and watch that. It's like an animated movie. It's phenomenal good. You have to see that. It's on iTunes. Their hearts. Because it's Valentine's Day. Of course. You, you like those stamps anyway. I do. Lo I love my heart stamps. I think they're cute. The new Spider-Man was really good, too. I heard that. Yeah, we heard that. But I don't know. Maybe you guys got used to to crap that semi good is is good. They are little hearts, yeah. Yes. No, man. I want I want to know a, a solid on Matrix Resurrections. I want to know. I don't. I do. I am not interested in that movie at all. Well, I am. So I'm gonna. I try know. To find it out. It's Rosie! Holy shit, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I love this movie. Oh, you wrote me one? No. That's no, it. Yeah. It did that thing. Mm hmm. New Matrix is terrible. Yeah, I keep hearing that, but I gotta find out for myself. That's it. I have to find out for myself that it sucks, and then I'll go, yeah, it sucks. That's too bad. Uh, you know? But I want to see it. Definitely. Netflix Daredevil is on Spider-Man for five seconds. How about we try to do a successful Punisher trilogy? Oh, oh my god. How about we not try and just stop doing the same thing over and over again, the hoping Punisher, for a different result? The Punisher has not been done many times. <sighs> at all. And he's a great character. He doesn't get enough. Let's do the Euro hit series and movies. Classic type Punisher shit. That'd be amazing. No, we're not going to do that. Alright, how about my book? No, we'll never do that because you'd make money on it. Okay. Then don't ask me. I don't know. Keep making shitty uh, uh, action, or excuse me, keep making shitty superhero movies. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Not in the shitty superhero movies. Me neither, I'm, but that's apparently what they think sells totally, so that's it. Yeah, it's the same fucking shit. Oh, look, they redid the same thing again. Boring. Wow. It's boring. Batman, who cares about anything Batman now? Yeah, I've seen it. Nice. It's real good. Waste your money, Jason. We didn't. Well, I liked it. Anyway. I liked it. Daredevil. When are they going to make a good sci-fi? What do you mean a good sci-fi? What? I'm waiting for a good sci-fi. Movie? I'm hoping for nope. But it's probably going to be really fucking boring and I'm going to be completely disappointed and be like, why did I spend money on this you shit? You don't know that. Maybe it'll be good. Uh, you want the shit? Yeah, sure. I'm very pessimistic when it comes to movies well, now. Well, that's because they've all been dog shit. Yeah, they have. It's like, don't you guys know how to create movies anymore? Oh, there's definitely characters they haven't had a movie about. Yeah. Or introducing something that's new. My suggestion for years to get excitement about Superman again was to do the death of Superman. You could probably do two movies for the death of Superman and then have a third movie, The Return of Superman. Do and, and just do a big fucking epic movie trilogy series of the death and return resurrection of Superman. That would have been huge grossing money. Phenomenal. But the, what did they do? No. This is what they do. They take the Batman versus Superman movie and throw Doomsday in the end of it. You're fucking retarded. I'm done. Makes me sick. Yeah, I know. People will pay for the stupid crap. I'm not going to pay for the crap. Well, yeah, because you want to see if it's good or not. Yeah. And, and I, I saw... Did I see that? No, I didn't see it in the theater. But I rented it on... I, I, or I got it on iTunes when it was pretty expensive. Uh, 
Batman versus Superman, and it was a pretty decent movie. Now, it, I will see movies that are funded by the actual actors, and yes. they're just trying to continue on with a storyline. That's awesome, yeah. Because I, I enjoy, that. like, Scream. Mm -hmm. I really want to see Scream. Yeah, sure you do. Killer Crowns from Outer Space. That's a great movie. Because to tell you the truth, I've never been disappointed in Scream franchise. I didn't see the no, new... What? Someone like Rosie O'Donnell playing the part of Wonder Woman? I mean, a comedic Wonder Woman? That'd be cool. I, I think that's a good idea. A, com a comedic Wonder Woman. Like, I'd watch that. Can I have a lighter? Yeah. Well, I gave you one. Yeah, and you took it. Did I? Oh, wait, it's right here. Never mind. So. Amazonian woman. My dude hates it. Well, look, they're really, I don't understand why everything has to be a superhero movie now. Is that the only thing they think? See, they have the they have movies planned. I think the rumor was they have movie scripts and shit for a hundred years of movies. For yeah, this, for but, this Marvel shit. But they're oh Jesus, <clears throat> it's boring. Like Stop. They, yeah, they need to reinvent what they're doing because it's just getting re re repetitious and boring. They need to reinvent it. Maybe make interactive VR movie games. That would be sick. Like you take the perspective. Of I Superman think games are much more interesting than movies. Than movies, sure. And you get to stay at your home. Yeah. And and you don't have to deal with fucking stupid people and a and bad ah. fucking service. Oh, your dude hates the Killer Clowns movie. I love that. I think it's great. Do the Sandman correctly, sure. I would love to watch that. Well, yeah, the Irish, they probably do need a hero, but man, like, okay, let's get a hero. Jesus. Then. Jesus is your hero, but... How about you pray to Jesus, Irish gold? Anyway, the point is it's dull. It's it's really dull. I just can't do it anymore. It's pathetic. It really is pathetic. No, it's pathetic. And then, and then Disney acquires Aliens, the Alien franchise. Are you kidding me? Stop, and Predator. Stop buying things that you shouldn't touch. They have Star Wars. Ugh. They have Predator. They have all these movies. It has to end. This is gross. Raping Star Wars. Just raping it. Just taking it for everything you can get. It's dog shit. And they're taking they're replacing Mark Hamill as Luke. What? Okay. Yeah. Alright. They're replacing Mark Hamill. No. No. This is bullshit. No. They're like, Mark, you're too old. No, this is bullshit. We need another Luke Skywalker. We're going to make him look almost exactly like you and have him use your mannerisms. So it's going to be really creepy, Mark. Yeah. Well, for the new age, if you want if you want a, a hero character that's that's different for the new age, like Zonker's pretty good, man. Cuz he's a genocidal maniac and then he turns into like a shepherd, like a sh like like Jesus almost, taking care of people. That's a pretty dynamic character. You get what I'm saying? That's pretty good. Star Wars has been destroyed. Thank you. That's correct. They decimated the series. It's sad. And gross. Let's just be honest. The ruining of Star, Star Wars started with The Phantom Menace. Yeah, it did. The Phantom Menace should have never happened. I agree. I agree. Bots? They had the bots. The Russian bots with these weird... Hey, know. man, the Russians just need to check me out. They think I'm populous. I 
I remember thinking the end of the original Return of Jedi was ruined. Yeah, because... Oh, when they redid, remastered the it? They redid the Risen Ghost, you know? Like oh, the, God. The spirits. Yeah, it never was the same. That's right. Duh, it was just horrible raping. Oh, they're about to... They they <laughs> ruined they ruined Indiana Jones by making fucking the Crystal Skulls, and now they want this poor, like, 80-year-old man to be indie again. And, and Harrison, he's such a man, he's like, okay, I'll do my I'll fucking do job. I'll do die. No one's gonna do indie but me. He just crashed a plane, almost died. Because he's a stubborn ass like that. He's like, just kill me, okay? So, so, oh, my God. That's what he, I bet he said, I'll do the new movie again, just kill me. You like promise, he did in Star Wars. You promise you're going to kill me this you time? You promise to kill my character? All right, I'll do it. One, <laughs> that's it, though. You kill me. Because <laughs> if I find out you drag it out another movie, I will leave the set. <laughs> and I will not give you the money back. So you film my death, and that's it. Have the, have the stupid kid stab me with the saber and it's over. Okay? No more of this god character. This forsaken character. Because <laughs> Han is an asshole. That's got to feel like shit playing. That, have you ever seen an interview with Harrison Ford? He's, he's very a, unique guy. Yeah. He's an orany man, man. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot, though. I like the way he is. He's very laid back. <laughs> mostly. He's laid back, mostly. Oh. I was about to say, hasn't he crashed enough planes to warrant no more films? Jesus. Uh, well, here's the thing. He, I, he almost died. I, is he going to crash another plane in this film? <laughs> I hope not. He has to. It has to happen. Yeah. Episode 5 is the first Star Wars. The Fuck fir Phantom Menace. The first Star Wars. It's a New Hope. Which is episode 5, right? Four. Four. Epi yeah, that's right. It's episode four. The first one. Then then Empire is... They should have just ended it with a, th with a trilogy. Well, of course, but that we're talking about the modern day raping of, of, of cinema for money. Oh, and they're also doing it on TV, too, is redoing shows, old shows. Why? Jeez, come on. It's like, stop. You're, you're just ruining things. Do we have to ruin everything? And they're about to do it with Harry Potter is just... Probably decimate it. Because they finally got rid of J.K. Rowling, so they're like, ah, oh, cool. Harrison Ford, amazing man, pilot. Yeah, I know. He almost died, though, the poor guy. Look, guys. Oh. It's a Gavin. He's been scouting. He wants to say hi. They're a philanthropist and carpenter. He's a carpenter? Yes. I, I didn't know that. Say hi, Gavin. Say, I love you, everyone. He's a boy. I'm a good Gavin boy. He's a boy. I'm the best Gavin boy in the entire world. He loves you. That's a boy. He's cute. <laughs> we love our dad. Why did they get rid of J.K. Rowling? Because she said Gender. that women have vaginas. Oh! You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say that. She said there are two genders, and that's it. There's two genders. Chevy vans are the bomb. I would I would buy a 70 Chevy van. You're going to be right canceled now. again for saying that. No, it's not. I didn't say that I believe that, but they oh. did that to Dave Chappelle too. Cuz Dave Chappelle said that that JK Rowling said this and then they blamed him for it. Everyone's sick of cancel culture uh, though. That yeah, they're, they're purposely not canceling people. That's that's act yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like everyone should have freedom of speech, dude trouble for saying women have a giant no she said there's two genders that's what she said there's two genders and it's based on you know vagina and vagina yeah 
racist kitty. Oh my God, that's right, Elvis. Oh, we love him though. He's he's a. I don't know. It's okay. We're gonna get him some sensitivity classes. Yeah, we'll t we're gonna train him to Ooh. be nice. Exposure training. We gotta try to expose. We 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 gotta like. Anti. Anti what? Anti cancel culture? Yeah, I'm anti cancel culture. Definitely. Definitely, everyone should have a right to say whatever the fuck they want. Yeah, I am a what you a free speech advocate. Well, she's not biologically wrong. No. No. But, but see. No. I didn't. There's say a that. lot of people in this world that want to redefine things. Yeah. And um. Turn pe and label people. Yeah. With all these ists. To make people look bad yeah. because they're jealous of their money, their fame, and what they have. I think that's right. And yeah. they do it for the purpose of stealing what you have, and they pretty much did with JK. Yeah. And I'm... I'm Just because she said something that's a biological fact. Yep. Like, what the hell is that? problem with anything being said with it without saying fire in a crowded theater yeah I, I support I support anything yeah you can say anything people can listen to you and hate you or they could listen to you and like you or they could not watch you there's no such thing as canceling anyone that's right so that's it like they tried with Joe Rogan, it didn't work very well. No, nope. no. Nope. And they took his side, of course. Yeah. Because he made some tons of money. Exactly. That's it. I mean, he's successful. You ain't gonna take Joe Rogan's freedom of speech. No. And then Neil Young goes, "Well, fine. I'm taking my ball. I'm going home." And pe they go, "Fine." You don't get as many fucking lists as Joe. Like Rogan. taking the words "pregnant <clears throat> women" and changing it to "birthing people." Yeah, birthing people. Wow, really? You're gonna go you know far? what? I love how they try to trip, try to strip me of my femininity while claiming femininity of their own. Weird. Anyway. That's pretty weird, isn't it? I'm sorry. I self-identify myself as a female. No. It's evil to have a genital preference. Get so out of here. Dumb. Get out of here. The, this new line of thinking is so dumb. Yeah. Neil Young put his music back up. He did? He put his music. Ah, he was like, oh, I lost a lot of money. What a loser. That's pathetic. Like, well, I, I hope Neil Young will remember. A southern man don't need him around anyhow. Yeah. Man, that's a massive diss, just like Aaron Lewis saying in his one song. Yep, they are actually attacking the identity of women. I yeah, that's how I, I, I feel. I, yeah, I agree with that. I see that. This world has become so backwards, and I know I sound like an old person, but I am an old person, <laughs> and I just don't understand this culture, and I, I think it's weird, and it's background, you know, it's just backwards, and... Well, the culture is being perverted worse and worse every day. Worse and worse every day. Yeah. And I can't live in it. I feel like I can't live in it. No, like I, 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 I feel like Sorry. I can't live in this culture either. It's just... It's too it's, gross. It's toxic. Yeah. It's like you can't say anything without someone co like starting an argument over what you freaking say. Ow. Do you know how toxic that is? Mm. It's real bad. I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm done with it. Like being muzzled, I can't do it. 
No. While these same people that tell me to shut the fuck up, yeah. they say whatever the hell they want, and what they say to me is worse than I've ever said. Yeah. Like, it's really messed up that, like, people like me, just because I don't feel like I, I have to have this new idea of what life is, uh. I, I, I'm i labeled as, like, something, like, horrible. You're a horrible person. Horrible individual. No, maybe I came from a different culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I should have my culture respected because I think my culture makes sense. Uh, uh, okay? My culture didn't come from a line of fucking pussies. We actually, we actually did something called burning each other, where we actually, you know, purposely offended each other and jabbed each other just for funds, and we laughed about it. We used to call people extreme horrible slurs. We, we watched Bill and Ted 2. They said the F word in it. I was like, holy cow, how do these videos still exist? Knowing that they're destroying everything with any kind of slur in it. Well, they're not deleting the movies yet, but that it might get It's going to happen. Probably it will, yeah. Good, goodbye, another 48 hours. They're doing it with books. They're doing it with books, yeah. Yeah, they are. They're like, when's the last time you've seen a Mark Twain? No, he's canceled in academia because he, he used certain terms. He's been canceled in academia. But he was from the... But see, people forget that he was from an era and a culture no, where that was, that was normal. They don't forget it. <laughs> they just don't care. They just say, yeah. canceled, because you said that. You're, can't, you're done. You don't exist anymore. Well, you're, the slave character, Tom... Yeah. I won't say his full name. Mm -hmm. Well, you could but be referencing my uncle, but it's yeah. whatever. I mean, it's... I'm talking about in Mark Twain. All right, yeah. We won't say the term, yeah. Yeah. He was an actual good man that did good things for those boys. Tom Sawyer and, um, uh, fuck, what is the other one? Forgive me, it's been like 30 years cool. since I've read the books. That's cool. Thanks, I'll check them out. Guess who gave me links to the Rev Rolly commercials? I'll watch them, definitely. Yeah. That's cool. What was even worse is how they're starting to get rid of Dr. Seuss books. Because it, it references Nazis in one of his books, but it was t saying that Nazis were bad in his books. Huckleberry Finn, thank you, Caroline. Yeah, Huckleberry Finn. I love Mark Twain, okay? Yeah. I've read every single story he's ever had. Okay? Forgive me not remembering the whole thing. Yeah. But <laughs> it's been like 30 years. Yeah. You know, I read the classics. How about you read uh, the Three Musketeers? That that would be that would be canceled. The Three Musketeers. Oh, uh, you think? Like uh, so many movies in the eighties and nineties would be canceled. Well, like we, because we like watching movies from that age. Yeah. There's so many slurs. Yeah. So many in these movies, and they wonder why our language is the way they where the way it is. Well, like Hollywood made it cool to say all these slurs, so we started using it in our language and normalized it. And then the new generation grew up and then started shaming us and making it seem like we're being horrible people for using these slurs when we just normally used it in our language and it didn't mean as harsh as the words as you think it did. Well, like, <sighs> It's horrible what happened with, with free speech and language. Yeah, it was going to happen, though, eventually. It's like they purposely set up our generation. To, to, to ostracize and ridicule us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Yeah. One thousand figures of Dr. Seuss. He sees stuff. 
I love Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss was probably the one who brought me into my love of poetry. Yeah. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing more greater than exercising your ma mind than looking for words that rhyme with each other. That's true. Yeah. It's a great exercise of your mind. That's why rappers are just brilliant. Like, I'm constantly exercising my mind. Constantly. Sure. Words, numbers, patterns. But see, everything is so lazy now, you don't see poetry like you used to. Now poetry is jumbled words together that have really no meaning. When, huh. when poetry used to be fully thought out and they all rhymed, they all made sense, and yeah. it, it, it was almost musical to the ear. Yeah. My favorite poet is, is Walt Whitman for the reason of the way he describes nature I, I love that but in terms of uh, like raw talent I think it's it's Poe all the way Edgar Allan Poe is an amazing yeah. is also yeah, I think he's the he, best he, he he knew exactly how to pull the darkness out of his soul and present it on paper yeah he knew exactly how to do that yeah I agree yeah. I'm constantly doing numerology in my head same yeah that's happened quite a bit same. That can drive you mad. That can drive you mad. Like last night, I didn't sleep very well because I dreamt about this puzzle game that I never played, but I thought about it. That's crazy. I'm high functioned in Asperger's, so numbers, words, patterns are kind of my jam. Yeah. I feel you there. Yeah. What does Shani think of Walt Whitman? He's okay. It's an acquired taste because it's kind of like uh, pioneer poetry. I like Shakespeare though. Could so I, could I take some? Yeah. It's 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 like it's like Arthur Morgan situation, Walt Whitman stuff. So, you know. A lot of That's right, Caroline. Without the sour, the sweet ate as sweet. <laughs> first edition wow that's awesome you oh my my Edgar Allan Poe book oh I don't even know it's beautiful you want to show that off yeah okay yeah I I got it on eBay too. what puzzle game I have a lot of puzzle games I play too many too many I don't know I spent hours playing them is there too many probably not I live for puzzles like 3D dimensional. Yeah, I love puzzles, anything. You do. Oh, there it is. Man, it was pretty readily available. Like a good puzzle game uh, that you can get. Oh. Thank you. Like right on the top. And this is my Edgar Allan Poe book. It's really old, like, I don't know. 1800s maybe. I, I, yeah, it's like old. it's really old. Like, I think there is a date somewhere in the front. It, let me see. I think there is. It's from New York WML Allenson Company. Okay. No, it doesn't have a copyright, no copyright date. Copyright? What? It doesn't have a copyright date. That's crazy. Look at this. The title page. That's the title page. If anyone could look this up. I think I did, and it was like 1820 or something. But it's his full works. Yeah. Like, it's so old. Yeah. I love this Poe book. I got it for 60 bucks on eBay for Shanty as a gift. You know. Beautiful. Like. Yeah, it's really classy looking book. Yeah. 18, 9, 1897, there you go. 1897. Wow, no, no, no. no, that's oh. her book. Sorry. You have the original printing of Dracula, 1897. Wow, she's a collector. That's amazing. Oh. I, that nice I love I love book? classics. Isn't that a gorgeous book, the Poe book? Yes. I love that Poe book. Mm -hmm. Freaking gorgeous. 
I love old books. I've had a lot of books. Can't be 1820, okay. He was born after that. Oh, sorry about that. I apologize. My dates are probably totally messed. The thing but is, the printing looks like it came from like a old fashioned like New York printer, printed, printer press. It's yeah, a New York printer press. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't. I think look the company is on the spine. It is. Or it's, yeah, yeah. At Allison Standard Library, men, men's a gate molellum. What the hell? That looks Masonic as shit. It does. That's crazy. It does. Ugh. That's a crazy looking seal. It's a cool book. I can't live without my books. You should have that checked out. Yeah, I should. I go. I should go to what? What is that? That American? Um, uh -huh. What? What is it? The American well, she, auction? Yeah, but she, like show. Yeah, the thing is with this Shanny, there isn't even an ISBN. This no. is before ISBN. But a professional would know exactly where that comes from and what that's time true. it comes from. Yeah, that's true. An expert on, on books. Yes. That you're right. Antique Roadshow. Shanny. Man, that's got the smell. Antique. No, there's nothing on the spine about the date. No. Nothing on the spine about the date. See, that's what tells me this is like a really, really old, old. book because yeah. there's no date on it. No date at all. No. But it's beautiful. Yeah, it's like, it's really, that was a good find. I'm glad I bought that. It's a good find. It's before the copyright started. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's before ISBNs, and it's before the Copyright Office even existed. Yep. The Library of Congress Copyright Office. So it's pretty, it's old. Yeah. But yeah, we should take it to an antique dealer. Let me look that up on here. Pete on is Ramona. He said he was doing Ramona for V-Day. Alone. From childhood hour, I have not been. As others were, I have not seen. As others saw, I could not bring. My passions from a common spring. From the same source, I have not taken. My sorrow, I could not awaken. My heart to joy at the same tone. And all I loved. I loved alone. Then in my childhood, in the dawn of a most stormy life, was drawn from every depth of good and ill the mystery which binds me still. From the torrent or the fountain, from the red cliff of the mountain, from the sun that round me rolled in its autumn tint of gold, from the lightning in the sky as it passed me flying by. From the thunder and the storm and the cloud that took the form. When the rest of the heaven was blue of a demon in my view. Awesome. He had a dark childhood. Yeah. He may be BPD. Probably. He might be. Early childhood trauma, bros. Everyone suspects that Van Gogh had BPD. Such a precious man. I love Van Gogh. What are you doing? Oh, you're you're actually asking uh, a, a actual person. Uh, well, that an was from an antique dealer, yeah. Yeah. Can we go to New York for Valentine's Day? Well, it, it's, it's today. I know, right? No, that's what the kids said. Oh, okay, sorry. Do you want to go to New York? I don't think we have the gas to get to New York. No way. If they want to donate money, we can. I don't want to go to New York. New York to me is probably as intimidating as going into Chicago. I agree. <laughs> yeah. 
No offense to the New Yorkers. I apologize. I go to upstate New York, though. Upstate? You'd be okay with that? Yeah. Okay. What's the title of the book again? Let's check it out. Poe's Poems. Is that the name of it on the inside, too? Channing? It's, that's what it's called on the inside. No, on the inside, it says the complete poetical works of Edgar Allan Poe. The complete poetical works of Edgar Allan Poe. There you, that's the full title. Yep. And the press is down there. Yep. It, you'll find it, for sure. But yeah. I, I'm just wondering if the value of the light. This is almost mint, I mean. It's beautiful. It's in very good condition, I mean. But it's very old. It is old, definitely. We're say I'm saying, okay, how old, what age would, did Edgar Allan Poe write? I thought it was the 1800s, so I'm wrong. <laughs> when was he wrote? The later 1800s. Oh, I see. So that would be an early 1900s book, maybe. It might be. Might be. Like 1900-something. Like that, yeah, maybe. He does not like that woman. He's like, no, I don't want her to be my mom. The kid? Yeah, man. Yeah, he's totally is. like, no, I don't want her to be my mom. She's, a, she's already a pain in my ass. Yeah, she yells at me. She makes me feel bad for loving <laughs> my dad. I don't like her. Can't breathe. Oh, God. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm okay. I'm going to have to go, though. I'm getting a, a migraine, honey. Are you? A migraine? Yep. Yeah. The sickness is taking over again. Lumbago, too. Yeah, I got lumbago. <laughs> I think we both do. It's rough. That lumbago is rough. Take it for, uh, oh. There's a collection store selling a copy right now for $2,500. A, a copyright version of this for $2,500. A copy right now. A copy of it right now. What? No way. Are you for real? I would not sell this. A co you wouldn't sell it. No, the pr the for value. Twenty five hundred bucks. The value of it is going to go up. Well, of course it is. That's why I bought the game. Cause see, these that, idiots I are gonna that. start burning books. Whatever. They're all becoming Nazi, fascist, communists. That's worth twenty five hundred bucks. Holy sh Nikes! Nah, no, it's probably not. Oh, it's Biblio. Yeah, that's a legit site. Wow. 2500 bucks. That's awesome. That's a diamond ring, baby. That is a diamond ring. That's amazing. <laughs> is it a diamond ring now, though? No, it's more than that. It's probably five grand for a diamond ring. Yeah, it probably is now. Five grand, double the cost. Like, people were talking about the price of flowers <coughs> this year and how much they've gone up for Valentine's Day. Nuts. I still, still do represent That's beautiful. Them. I still represent them. If that is an original print, and yes. That's why we keep our books in a special room. Oh, I'd love to see your collection, Elemental. Because I love books. I have a very much huge love for books. I'm surrounded by books, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I'm always surrounded by books of some kind of form. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to take off. My my throat is killing me. My nose is starting to swell up again. I felt good for a little while. And now you know how it is <laughs> with the <coughs> fucking COVID. I'm hitting that downward spiral again. And it won't go away. For nothing. <coughs> no. It won't. 
And the doctors, all they say is just stay home until you you feel better. Yeah. Thanks, asshole. That's a great answer, you know. <laughs> Isn't that great medical advice? Stay home until you feel better. Right. What if I never feel better? Um. Yeah. Yeah, to... thank you, Irish. It's the actual hardcover book you have. It is the actual hardcover. It's, yes, Shanny, you could confirm that. Yeah. It's a hardcover book. Whoa, there's another book. It's hard, hard cover, yeah. Yeah, very hard. <laughs> it's like wood or something. It feels like wood cover, yeah, almost. A wood cover. It's gorgeous book. Yeah, they don't make books like that no more. No, they don't. Books are so cheaply made now. I fully endorse local church Bible publishers for their Bibles, though. Yes. They'll last forever. They're beautiful, and they feel absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, right? The pages are, like, silky. Right here. Yeah, there you go. Local church, that's it. It's the local church Bible. Publisher. It's just silky and smooth. Yeah, it's And the pages. Wide margin for notes. Yeah. Yeah. It's wide margin. You can put the notes in the sides. It's gorgeous, man. It's just gorgeous. It's an iron catskin cover. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. It's buttery leather, and it's got two markers. I How many Bibles do we have? Oh, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> we got it since coming. Since we, got, coming. we got quite a big, huge uh, collection of Bibles, but you never know when you're going to need one or give one to someone. Absolutely. Take it to a dealer, get it appraised. Yeah, we probably should. I just emailed somebody about that, so we'll see. If they if they buy books, if you want, would you? Uh, you want? You said you wouldn't sell it though, right? Yeah. Sam, you said you wouldn't sell it. What? The book? You no. Want, you you keep it. Okay, that's fine. But know that you have a valuable item. Holy shit, that's crazy. It's oh, an investment. Twenty five hundred dollar book. It's an investment. That's awesome. I paid six, <coughs> I paid sixty bucks for it. <coughs> I paid sixty bucks for it, folks. All right. Anyway, I just coughed. You happy? <laughs> <sighs> By the way, I love Coke Zero. Yeah, it's awesome. I prefer a Trump, though. That's just me. Anyway. I'm taking off, guys. I'll try to see you guys tomorrow. You're right, Johnny Appleseed. You kind of have to lose a little bit of oxygen in your brain for the THC to activate. Anyway. Uh I love you guys. You have a good day. Good night. Good Valentine's Day. Fuck your wife's. Eat her. Fuck your boyfriend's. Eat her out. Yeah. And make sure at least get in her a chocolate bar. Sure. And and yeah. Go the extra mile, guys, and and rim it. And ladies, hey, give your man a blowjob. You could do that. Give him a hummer. But could I suggest yeah. the guys well, to, to do a rim for the yeah. special occasion? Do it. We taught G-Man today what a rim job was. So. Yeah, we t we taught him the word what a rim job is. We yeah. taught G-Man today, so he knows now. And he laughed. He laughed. Yeah. Ah, oh, making some steak and potatoes off the grill. Yum. <laughs>